you'll need two pounds of beef chuck, two pounds of beef short ribs, six dried bay leaves, two cinnamon sticks, six garlic cloves, fresh cilantro, one tablespoon of chili powder, one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of ground cumin, one tablespoon of dried oregano, one cup of cheese, one diced white onion, six dried guajillo peppers, corn tortillas, and four liters of beef stock. To start, we're going to prepare the guajillo peppers. In a large bowl, place in the six guajillo peppers. Fill with boiling water. Cover for 10 minutes with a tea towel. After 10 minutes, drain the water. Cut the tops off each of the peppers and remove all the seeds. Then place the peppers into a blender with a splash of water. Thoroughly blend. Put to one side for later. Now we're going to prepare the meat. Apply a generous amount of salt. Place a pan onto your stovetop over high heat. Sear the beef chuck on both sides until brown. This should only take a couple of minutes. Transfer to a bowl. Then sear the beef short ribs on both sides. When nice and brown, transfer to a bowl. Now we're going to prepare the burria stew. Place a large pot onto your cooktop. Turn on high heat. Pour in the beef stock. Then add the beef chuck, beef short ribs, onion, garlic, chili powder, cumin, oregano, cinnamon sticks, bay leaves, and salt. Stir. Then finally, add the blended guajillo peppers, thoroughly mixed together. Bring to boil. Boil for two hours. After two hours, the meat should be incredibly tender and fall off the bone. Carefully remove the beef chuck and beef short ribs from the pot. Now we're going to remove the bones. Now that we've removed the bones, it's time to shred the meat. It's time to shred the meat. 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 Now that we've shredded the meat, it's time to shred the meat. Now that we've finished shredding the meat, it's time to shred the meat. Now that we've successfully finished shredding the meat, it's time to egg the meat. Now that we've finished egging the meat, it's time to craft the top. Now that we've finished Now that we've Now that we've Now that we've finished egging the meat, it's time to craft the tacos. Grab a corn tortilla and dunk it into the burrilla stew. Carefully place it onto a hot frying pan. Add your meat. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Cook until the cheese is melted. Mm, perfection. Now pour some of your burrilla stew into a small bowl. Add onion. <laughs> Grab your burrilla taco and dunk it into the burrilla stew. Serve and enjoy. Remember to dunk your taco again after each bite.